I'm Fraser and I operate a small business called L'Atelier de Fer in France. My channel on this video is uh, Metalworking in France. Today we have a little project where I'm making some rollers. So very, very similar to ones I made uh, two or three weeks ago. Uh, only they were in black nylon. These ones are in white nylon and slightly bigger than the ones I made before. Also, uh, with the ones I made before, I had to make 12. This time, I only have to make eight. Although there's fewer, fewer of them, they are slightly bigger and a little bit more complex. So, it's another job to do on the lathe here. So, uh, let's get on the lathe and see how we get on with making these rollers. So here we see the first stages of turning down this uh, this nylon to make the rollers. Uh, first job is to turn down the outside diameter to 50 millimeter diameter. Next stage, I'll, what I'll need to do is to drill a hole in the end. Um, literally. I'll go in approximately, it's a 25 millimeter diameter hole. It's just to clear the spindle on the roller. Uh, I'll drill in about 60 mil before I part off uh, at about 50 millimeter length on the roller. Um, the reason for this is literally just a clearance for the pin that goes through the roller to form the axle. And then this is ready for parting off. And once that's done, we can then put the single blocks, uh, approximately 50 millimeter diameter and uh, 50 millimeters long. Turn them, I'll turn them down to what length they need to be. And then as you can see here, I'm drilling the cavity to take the bearing. The bearing is 43 millimeter diameter outside and about 17 millimeters in in depth. So once this this bit is done, then uh, the block literally just needs to be uh, cleaned up generally. So the next stage will be to just put a little radius on the corner, just so there are no sharp edges on the roller itself. And, uh, and then we'll have a finished block. Well, block, nylon, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically just a, a, a round piece of nylon to form a roller. Uh, here we are. And here we have the nylon rollers uh, sitting on the bench, ready uh, to take the bearings. Uh, I'll show you a picture of the bearings that are going in as well. There's one there beside the rollers, but uh, in the next phase, here we are. There are eight rollers and 16 bearings, one in each end of the, of the roller. I'll use the hydraulic press just to push them in so they go in nice and square. They don't take a lot of pressure because it's only going into nylon, uh, but the press will just make sure they go in nice and square and they don't tip to the edge at all. And here we have it. And here we have all the rollers completed with their spindles fitted and ready to go to the client. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching and look out for more videos in the future.